Hey guys, welcome back to Finding Truth or welcome to the channel for the first time if that's the case. This is the third video in the election series of videos that we and we're working really hard to find those stories that the mainstream media is either too incompetent to find or purposely ignoring. You choose which is the actual cause. First off, I want to thank you all for watching these videos. If you want to help promote the channel and help us grow, you can do so with three simple steps. Just hit that follow button, smash up the likes, and share this video in your social media, either Facebook, uh, Twitter, Parler, any of the social media accounts that you may have. That helps us out more than any other thing that you can do. So I much appreciate it. Uh, we're not asking for money. We're not asking for donations. Just want to get the videos out there. We're still halfway to the goal of 1,000 followers so that we can start to do mobile live videos. And that is the current goal. So let's get to it. Um, so today we have some very, very, very important news to understand. It didn't actually come out today. It came out on the 30th of last month. So we're about seven days behind the story, six days behind the story. Um, but I just have not seen this in any major media. So I think it's extremely important that my viewers and just the, the world in general sees and hears what is currently going on. Um, you guys remember the Ukraine? It was all the rage just under nine months ago. Uh, remember all of that? The Ukraine quid pro quo that the House claimed was committed by President Trump uh, was treated as a huge story. He was impeached for it. And that led to an impeachment trial that took all of the House's attention while President Trump was out fighting this new virus that was attacking the world. As usual, the left was looking for a reason to remove this duly elected president while he was out there fighting for the American people, making moves that uh, saved hundreds of thousands of lives and being called xenophobic for doing so. Well, the tables have turned, and of course the media is ignoring the actual quid pro quo. We found it, the actual quid pro quo that's being proven in court under oath as we speak. Um, it's staggering. So what exactly am I talking about? Um, if you go to the Hal Turner radio show website, you can find an article called Corporation Admits in Court they bribed U.S. Vice President Joseph Biden, in quotes. Um, that's right. They admitted to bribing not only Hunter, but Joe himself directly. Joe himself. This is enormous. I mean, absolutely huge. Biggest news of the year, and no one is reporting it. Why? Why? Okay, so let's take a look at the article. Uh, when you go to the website, you pull up the article. It's, you know, it's, a, it's not a long article. It's fairly short. And it, let's, I'll just read it to you. So it says, In an utterly stunning development for U.S. politics, Burisma Gas Holdings Corporation of Ukraine admitted in court today they bribed Vice President Joseph Biden and his son Hunter Biden. So Burisma... In case you're unfamiliar, Burisma is the company that Hunter Biden sat on the board of. They are a Ukrainian energy company. It's important to keep that in mind. Keep just the words Ukrainian energy company in mind moving forward, because we are going to find out much more in the future about American politicians, family members, and Ukrainian energy companies. There is a reason for this. We will find out why. So just understand those words. Keep them in the back of your head. Ukrainian Energy Company. We're going to hear that a lot. So let's see. Get back to the article. The only issue left is how much the bribes were. Not if there were bribes, but how much were the bribes. At present, Burisma disputes the claim that the bribed amount was $900,000. There are indications that the amount may be far greater. There's also indications it could be less. The article just says far greater, but the argument is really from Burisma saying, yeah, we bribed them, but that's not the right amount. 
they didn't tell us what was the right amount. Some people are assuming more. Some people are assuming less. The Hal Turner radio show is assuming more, it seems like. Um, but for honesty's sake, I'll throw in the fact that it could be far less, but or just a little less, or it could be 899,000 instead of 900,000. I mean, it could be a very, very minor difference, or it could be an enormous difference. Uh, we'll see here. So back to the article. The ongoing case of Ukrainian gas holding company Burisma against People's Deputy of Ukraine. I'm going to get this name wrong. Andre Dirk. 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 Sorry, guys. Andre Dirk. Dirkach. Dirkach. I think it's Dirkach. <laughs> okay. Andre Dirkach. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. I'm going to pretend like that's how it's pronounced. Uh, Sorry, guys, I just don't know. So Andrew Derekach has revealed that Burisma did, in fact, bribe Joe, Hunt, Joe and Hunter Biden with large cash payments. The only question is how much. The Pershek District Court of Kiev indicated that representatives from Burisma are only refuting the amount of money the company paid to Joe Biden. Burisma is not it is important to note, refuting that it did, in fact, pay these two large sums of cash, which is still to be determined, the amount. Um, boy, this is huge, guys. This is literally quid pro quo. Um, this is a situation where we had Biden earlier on tape saying, well, I told the Ukraine president, you know, hey, we, we've got a deal to give you a billion dollar loan here, and I'm going to pull that deal if you do not fire this prosecutor, the important thing to understand about that statement is that the prosecutor that he was asking to be fired was actually investigating Burisma Holdings, the company we're talking about here, that Hunter Biden was on the board of. Um, boy, that looks really, really bad. Now, I can't say anything illegal was done, but that definitely needs to be investigated. That's a heck of a lot more serious than anything, and I mean anything anything that they claimed about Trump when he was impeached. So this is very, very, very serious. Um, let's get back to the story. On his Facebook page, Derek, 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 Hatch, Derek Hatch explained that Burisma has now admitted that it bribed Joe Biden and, quote, as expected, Burisma lost. Derek, Hatch, Derek Hatch, says that Burisma bribed Joe Biden with a $900,000 lobbying lump sum, which the company is disputing solely due to the amount. Um, that might be why people think that it was more, because they're saying there was one payment is what the claim is, and it was a $900,000 lump sum, and Burisma is saying that they bribed Joe and Hunter with large cash months, not just one, multiple. So maybe we found one $900,000 payment, but there is others that make it much, much larger, or possibly the number is incorrect and it's less. <laughs> so that's the confusion we have here when we're trying to find this stuff out because we don't have the reporters on this story. We don't have people digging to find out what the truth is. So let's get back to it. During the first televised presidential debate, which aired on television last night, President Trump Trump dropped a massive hint when he asked Biden why his son, quote, took $3.5 million from the wife of a Moscow mayor, end quote. Now, once again, factual, this is something that we just received about two weeks ago from the Senate Intelligence Committee, I believe. I believe it was the Intelligence Committee. Uh, very, very, very important fact to understand that while they were running around saying that uh, that President Trump was colluding with Russia, accepting money from Russia, accepting uh, political help from Russia. The reality was that Joe Biden's son was getting payments from the mayor of Moscow's wife, who's very, very, very close to President Putin and happens to be one of the most wealthy Russians in Russia. So very interesting. Back to the story. It is starting to look as though Democrat presidential candidate Joe Biden is running for president because it is the only way he can prevent being put in prison for accepting bribes while vice president. Uh, I don't want to make that claim, but man, that's an interesting perspective to look at. Um, is running cover? Uh, possibly. 
uh, can't really look into it too deeply without being accused of just investigating a political opponent. So we'll get back to the story. It will be interesting to see if the U.S. mass media covers this unprecedented story. They won't. They haven't yet. They may in the future once it becomes too big to ignore. So we got an update on the story. So update. As part of Ukraine's official police investigation into Burisma, the U.S. Embassy in Kiev is working closely with Ukrainian law enforcement. Certain embassy staff have repeatedly spoken with or provided documents to the Ukraine police. While an employee at the U.S. Embassy in Kiev was murdered today, authorities in Ukraine are investigating the killing of an American embassy employee after an apparent assault. An unidentified employee of the U.S. Embassy in Kiev, Ukraine, was found unconscious near the railroad on Tolbukhin Street in Kiev. She was admitted to the hospital and later succumbed to her injuries, according to Ukrainian police. Artem Shevchenko, spokesman for the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Ukraine, said on Facebook that police are investigating her death as an int- intentional murder. It is not yet known if this particular employee was involved at all with the ongoing bribery investigation into former Vice President Joe Biden, but the timing of this murder on the very day a company admitted in open court that they bribed a then-sitting Vice President is worryingly coincidental. That's the end of the the article. So I agree, that is worryingly coincidental. It's not proof, um, but it's worrying. So... Today, this is kind of just the information I want to get out there. I want you guys to understand that we have information coming in from multiple sources, including the Ukraine government and court system, that is pointing to the actual corruption that was going on during the Obama administration, directly involving Joe Biden. So keep your eyes and ears open, folks. Make sure you spread this information, help people to see it, help them to understand what's happening. Even if this doesn't make complete sense to you, it should be something that you keep on the back burner, something you keep in your mind as having been said in court under oath, because these things are going to unwind and become very interesting as things move forward. So, hey, thanks again for watching the channel. Thanks again for checking in. We're going to be doing more and more and more and more videos as time moves on. Uh, might even get a couple of them up up there this afternoon. So, um, hope you guys are all having a great afternoon. Make sure you like this video. That really helps. Subscribe to the channel and share, guys. Thanks again. Take care. We'll see you soon.